My bet is that my proximity to whiteness has in fact allowed me over and over again a level of racial naivety and a willingness to believe that if I could just get the right white folks to give me cover, that it will be okay. And um, I show up on TV and say words because at the moment I have the cover of a powerful white man. Like at the moment, a white man is like, okay, you can sit on TV and say words. And the moment that that powerful white man no longer wants me to sit on TV and say words, I will not be allowed to sit on TV and say words anymore. But every time you speak, you have a choice. And I think that part of this huge following that's here tonight for you and that's out there in the world is because you have exercised that choice in a way that puts you at risk, um, in a way that makes it seem that, that, yes, that power force larger than you could shut you down at any moment. But you don't allow that to happen. And that's the strength that I'm talking about. That's a different kind of, it's, it's what it means to be in resistance. I mean, all week I've been quoting my beloved Paulo Freire. We cannot enter the struggle as objects in order to later become subjects. So you exercise the power of a redemptive subjectivity, an oppositional subjectivity right there in the belly of the beast, knowing all the time that you could be stopped at any moment. <laughs>